everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. Um, I'm a TA for Scott. I have office hours from 4 to 6 in Stratton Hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm there with John Helland. He's another one of your TAs who here is a resource. Um, you can find our office hours on the calendar, I believe, as long as well as, well as other places on the website. Um, today we're going to be solving 14 in this video. And this is a problem of undetermined coefficients. So the first step is to find the homogeneous solution take away this function of t, we see that this is uh, e to the t, it's the solution for this, because there's no coefficient out in front of y. So that's the function that solves the homogeneous case. We look at our particular case, and we notice that there's a cosine. Um, something that we should be careful about when taking this next step is recognizing that we're going to have to include sine and cosine terms. So we have a uh, c2 times a cosine of 2t, but we also have a c3 times the sine of 2t. Um, to solve for these coefficients, we're going to be taking the, just looking at the particular case, and we're going to take a y particular prime equals y particular plus cosine of 2t to be solving for c2 and c3. Um, we take the derivative, and we see that we have 2 c2 cos... Oh, sine, sorry. Uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, this is negative sign. Negative sign. Just double-checking my thought process, sorry. Um, plus 2 uh, c3 cosine of 2t. And then we have this is equal to y particular, so this is c2 cosine of 2t plus c3 sine of 2t plus this term up here, cosine of 2t. So now we combine like terms basically, and we see that everything connected to sine has to equal each other, so we have c3. Sine of 2t, we have uh, c3 and negative 2c2. Those are equal. And then we also have the cosine of 2t terms. And we have 2c3 equals c2 plus 1. There's an invisible 1 right there. So now we have to substitute this in. We see that uh, negative 2c2 equals c3, so we can have a negative 4c2 equals c2 plus 1, and we get negative, um, we have c2 equals negative 1 fifth. We substitute this back in up here, and we see that c3 equals just 2 fifths. Um, we now have all the coefficients that we can solve for without an initial condition, and we have c1 e to the t, this is our y homogeneous right here. And then we have our particular, which we have um, c2 is negative 1 fifth, so we can put that first. Cosine of 2t plus 2 fifths sine of 2t. That is your solution right